Um, hello and uh, good day. This is uh, Tanvir Zia, uh, your subject coordinator for ITC 597 uh, Digital Forensics in Semester 1, 2015. Uh, I would like to introduce the subjects and uh, what it involves, uh, its assessments, and uh, how to navigate uh, this subject site. Uh, I'm assuming uh, as you are listening to this uh, video course, you are already in the subject site, which is in our new CSU learning management system. We call that Interact2. Um, if, you, if you click on the, these links on the left-hand side of this uh, digital image, uh, that takes you to a brief uh, uh, outlines of uh, what these uh, links they, they mean. For example, clicking on introduction will take you about uh, a bit introducing the subject and what areas of the subjects I want you to pay attention to, such as topics, resources, discussion board. Uh, clicking on uh, this link can take you to uh, a bit more uh, detailed profile uh, if you want to learn more about me, my background in terms of uh, my research and teaching. And uh, the second button uh, gives you a schedule for our online meetings. As you can see that, uh, I have already provided the dates uh, for this session's online meetings. All the meetings will be held in the evening on Tuesdays from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Australian Eastern uh, Daylight uh, Time or uh, in simple words Sydney Canberra time. Uh, so please mark these uh, dates and timings in your calendars. Uh, now the third link takes you to the textbook. Now, this is the new version of the textbook which is recently released. Uh, so we are using this very latest textbook in this uh, subject. Uh, as you can see that I have mentioned that the PowerPoint slides which are provided by the publisher, they are uh, available in resources folder, which I'll show you in a minute at how to access a folder. So going back, uh, you see that the next link is uh, another important link, weekly topics. So that takes you to a brief description of what typically uh, weekly topics mean uh, and how to access that. And I have mentioned an important note here, there's a slight change uh, in topics, titles and recommended readings. Uh, so what I suggest you is uh, uh, visit the weekly topics. Uh, I'll show you in a minute again uh, that how uh, this link uh, can take you to the uh, weekly topics areas. Going back, and the next link is uh, Forensics Tools. Uh, as you can understand, that is a very technical subject. There are heaps of hands-on projects and exercises. Um, so there are some software tools which you have to use um, as part of your assessments and as part of uh, my learning process. So the DVD which comes along with the textbook uh, contains those softwares. Uh, but again, uh, I mean the DVD was uh, prepared uh, some time ago. So please double check the, uh, the, the latest version of those softwares from online. Most of these softwares are free where you can uh, easily uh, find from the internet. Okay, going back uh, to the second last link here, that's uh, introduction to, uh, sorry, the, the third from the bottom is subject outline. So clicking on that will take you to this link. And uh, when you click on this link, that will open a subject outline in a separate window. Uh, then Interact2, as I mentioned earlier, that Interact2 is the is a new online learning system. So if you have been studying at CSU, uh, you've been using Interact, we call that now Interact1. Uh, it's a different interface, but you'll find uh, this interface more uh, user-friendly and easy to navigate. So here's a link to a document. Uh, which, which, which answers all uh, basic uh, questions about the Interact2. Lastly, uh, the last uh, link takes you to my contact details. So you can see that my email address, my phone numbers, and uh, my uh, consultation times for phone consultation. If somebody is interested to chat with me over the phone to discuss any matter about the subject. However, please email me to, to ensure that I have booked a slot for you. 
In the bottom, you will also see some links. These are direct links to subject outline, weekly topics, discussion forums, and online meetings. I mean, these four uh, links are um, uh, will take you to the uh, these very frequent activities which will be doing in this uh, in this subjects or to the activities which will be uh, doing in this subject. Okay, uh, going back again on left hand side, you can see that. Uh, um, Okay, subject outline. I mean, there's another way to access the subject outline, but this link uh, requires few clicks before you are into subject outline. At the home page, that's where we are. Uh, again, context. So clicking on context will uh, take you a bit of brief uh, uh, description of my profile and, um, and, and, and my contact details, as you can see on the home page. I have also organized uh, some guest lectures at the moment two guest lectures have confirmed uh, I mean these are very knowledgeable uh, guest lectures so uh, at some stage uh, during the session mo uh, most likely the second half of the session I'll organize the I'll organize uh, an online guest lecture by uh, these uh, very uh, expert and knowledgeable uh, people in the forensics uh, area um, Announcements. So clicking on that will take you to like from time to time. I'll be posting announcement. For example, reminder about uh, uh, the fortnightly on meet online meetings, uh, or if we have to communicate any anything uh, to you. So you will see that announcement announcements would be the source. So you will find um, uh, any any messages from me uh, over here in this area. Uh, discussions uh, that link will take you to the discussions forums uh, as said earlier that uh, clicking on these links requires more clicks uh, instead i have provided easy navigation uh, from the home page so let let's take you to that so if you scroll down in the bottom so of the page so you see that it, by clicking in here it's the subject outline will directly take you with one click to the subject outline so waiting for a couple of seconds uh, yes and you just expand all uh, or if you just want to see what are the assessment items so simply click on assessment items and show so as you can see that we have three assessment items uh, assignment one uh, which are some hands-on task uh, I mean the first uh, part of the assessment item one is hands-on projects these are derived from your textbook uh, that's why uh, having a textbook is very important as part of the course uh, you should have received the textbook along with the DVD or, or should be on the way if you have enrolled on time uh, the second uh, task in this assessment item is a case project and the third task is a research project uh, and uh, as you can see in the bottom there's a very detailed marking criteria now what is that you have to do to achieve high distinction level marks in this assessment uh, and um, uh, what is that uh, you will end up um, uh, doing where you will get only say a pass credit or distinction marks yeah so please have a look at the marking criteria before attempting the assessments uh, similarly for assessment item 2 uh, you can see that uh, uh, there are three tasks here uh, I mean the f these first two tasks they are very popular in this subject uh, where I provide some more detail before this assessment uh, item is uh, due uh, to recover some scramble base or to reveal hidden information from an image so uh, basically steganography in, in forensics which is a very popular area finally with the forensics report and you can see that marking rubric or marking criteria uh, provided in detail I mean if you are strictly following this marking criteria there's no reason why you won't be uh, achieving high distinction in the assessments um, and the last assessment here is the is the final exam um, and uh, in the assessment uh, information above when we go back I'll take you back that there's a simple exam available so your final exam will look like that okay going back to the deadlines as you can see that the first assessment task is due on 30th of March 2015 so nearly uh, four weeks after the commencement of the session uh, second task is due on 18th of May so six weeks from the first task uh, and and you can see that the weighting of uh, these tasks they are major uh, assessment uh, tasks so 20% 30% and finally the exam 
Now, as I was talking about the sample exam, so let's go back to uh, assessment information here. So clicking on that, so you can see that uh, what is the pass requirement in subject. Uh, you need to obtain 50% overall as well as 50% in the exam to pass the subject. So here are the grades and uh, going down you can see that uh, uh, the information about extensions uh, or late submissions uh, this is what I was talking about a sample exam paper okay so there are two parts for the exam part A and part B so your final exam will look exactly like this we'll talk more about the exam uh, closer to the end of the session okay I'll go back to the subject home page so that was subject outline now the weekly topics now this is the area where I expect most of the action uh, from your side. So let's click on the weekly topics. So that will take you to our week by week contents. As you can see that uh, topic one is about understanding digital forensics and digital detective. Uh, so I have uh, provided the learning objectives for that week. And uh, just a couple of lines for that topic overview here and the reading activities. So I strongly suggest that every week people they read, they, they, they perform these activities. For example, in week one, uh, the readings involve chapters one and chapter three of the textbook. And what I'm expecting is that people attempt the review question at the end of these chapters and then perform these hands-on projects. So I have asked only two projects in the first week and work on these case projects. Uh, no, these assess. I mean, these weekly activities here. Uh, they are not assessed, uh, but they are part of a learning process. I mean, if you will uh, do these online uh, hands-on projects and case projects, that will make your assessment tasks very easy uh, and help you prepare uh, for the final exam as you uh, progress in the semester. Uh, I also expect that uh, once you complete the reading, uh, you test your understanding by learning the key terms at the end of uh, each chapter for that particular week and answering the review questions. Um, again, these, these review questions are at the end of the chapters. Now, uh, forum post of the week. Now, this is the discussion topic I would expect people to, to discuss about, to talk about uh, in the online discussion forum. So this is sort of stimulus, like if you don't know what to talk about, I mean, feel free to, uh, feel free to uh, come up with any idea um, um, uh, relevant to the subject or for that particular week. Uh, uh, and, uh, um, and 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 uh, discuss that on the online forum. Uh, however, I mean, if you're not sure what to what to discuss about, here the stimulus. Uh, I'll be more than happy uh, if you can, you know, stay stick with this particular uh, topic for that week. Uh, provide your comments. Come up with your finding. I mean, that does not have to be a lengthy discussion. Come up with a couple of line of um, your ideas. Let's say the first uh, uh, post is. Uh, say um, what are the various backup tools uh, available in the market what are the differences among the computer forensics tools discussing this topic yeah so just a couple of lines of comments and uh, and see uh, how everybody responds if there are say many people participating in this discussion so there'll be say that many uh, opinions that many uh, sources available so that will uh, basically accumulate understanding and discussion of several uh, people's ideas so the last uh, part of weekly uh, topic is a useful link so beside the, the readings and the online topics I have provided uh, these additional useful links additional readings so feel free to go on now I mean since these are the online links uh, sometimes the online online links change or they're removed so do search for the, the keywords to find if the link has been changed uh, or removed yeah so that's how all the topics look like uh, uh, here's a second topic so it's very similar as we have shown in the first topic um, uh, say uh, starting with a learning objective for that week a topic overview recommended readings now this is the only topic which does not have reading from the textbook as you can see that uh, we have provided some external readings I mean these are uh, a bit old however I mean uh, 
policy standards and laws that don't change. So this is this reading is on Australian uh, standards and, and legislations. Uh, similarly, uh, second reading is on Australian ethical and legal uh, framework. Uh, now these uh, readings are available in ebook form through CSU library. All you have to do is click on say uh, these links and as you can see that will take you to CSU online library and you will click on view online uh, it will ask you your CSU uh, user ID and password please enter that and uh, that will take you to the uh, PDF format which you can download or print uh, if you feel like uh, yeah so there's a whole uh, different chapter uh, from a different uh, book okay going back to where we were so yes, yeah, so these are topics. So please use these uh, topics areas, uh, topics area to navigate your study every week. So let's go back to our home site. Now the third button here for the discussion forums. So let's click on that. That will open up again a new uh, window. Uh, you can see that I have set uh, one, two, three, four, five, six forums. So first forum is about introduction. So here I expect uh, everybody coming and introducing uh, themselves, uh, their qualification, their work, their location. Now I asked for location because that helped. In last year, uh, people in Sydney and Melbourne um, who, who were working in, in CBD area, they formed some informal study groups. So that was uh, really a great way of engaging um, um, in in in. in uh, in collaborative learning and uh, solving um, um, weekly activities collectively. So feel free to, to add, uh, uh, I mean, uh, to provide as much as, as information as you want. Some people provide the phone number, but that's entirely up to you. Um, yeah, so just introduce yourself here, please. Uh, and the next uh, forum is about subject journal discussion. Uh, I mean, this is... Um, a forum where you can talk anything about the subject, what you like, what you don't like, what is that you want uh, it to be improved. Uh, and then comes the weekly act activities. So remember, I have shown you the weekly uh, forum post. So I would expect that answers or discussion to those posts are discussed in this uh, forum. Uh, and then comes assessment item one, two, and exam, the three assessments. They are self-explanatory if you want to talk about uh, anything about assignment one use assessment item one forum uh, for assignment two assessment item two forum and um, later at uh, later um, in the semester if you want to discuss anything about the exam um, yeah so this is the forum about yeah so uh, I mean I have uh, provided created these uh, different forums to ensure that uh, the threads are maintained separately I mean last year I had more than 5,000 posts in this subject so uh, if these posts are uh, separated they'll be easy uh, easy to locate and find those posts if people have to come back to those posts going back to our subject site okay now here's another important link uh, as I have shown earlier, the online meeting schedule. Now, how you will access that uh, those online meetings? Uh, one way is connect, uh, clicking on this link uh, might ask you a couple of more clicks. However, clicking on this bottom link will take you directly to the uh, Adobe Connect, which is the online meeting tool. Uh, you'll be asked to enter uh, either as a guest. I mean, if you're entering as a guest, uh, you will not have access to all the resources, such as recording. So I'll strongly urge people to use their uh, CSU, sorry, their, their ID and password to, no, this password is not your CSU password. This password is uh, issued when you have registered for Adobe Connect. I mean, any student can register uh, if you are new. So please uh, register yourself uh, for the first time. If you have been already studying at CSU and have participated at Adobe Connect, you can retrieve your password using this forget uh, your password link. Yes, yeah, so once you have your user ID and password, enter the uh, room. Uh, I mean, the start of session, many people might not have their Adobe Connect user ID and password. Uh, in that case, you can enter as a guest uh, while you are waiting for your uh, username and password to be provided. Okay, so let's click on enter the room. So that will take you to Adobe uh, Connect. Okay, so looks like I have mistyped my password. 
So let me try again. Okay. So hopefully. Okay. So looks like something wrong. Okay. One more time. I'm sure this time that'll be right. There you go. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, so you would have this uh, uh, this interface once you are uh, in the online meeting. So. Uh, as you can see that uh, this requires some preparation so uh, I'll not go into that uh, but please uh, practice uh, entering the online meeting before the start of the session so that you don't have to uh, wait for any any plugins to be installed yes yeah, so I would strongly encourage everyone to participate in meeting once so I'll talk more about the subject I'll introduce more uh, 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 assess more about the assessment items um, and uh, and provide a bit of overview of first couple of chapters um, I think that's all um, uh, I really appreciate you listening uh, to this online introductory video. Please feel free to, to send me email or, or call me if you have any questions or queries about this subject. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to speaking with you in the first online meeting uh, on Tuesday 8 to 9 p.m. on 3rd of March 2015. And thank you.